In the United States alone, one in seven people that has a disability of some kind that impairs their activities of daily living. And technology has tremendous potential for improving the lives of people with disabilities. I was serving in the Army as a sergeant in Europe when I was injured, and I came home with a spinal cord injury and had to use a wheelchair. And there was like an 80-pound behemoth that uh, I could hardly get in the car. I realized that there were a tremendous need for improving technology, improving the environment, and, and improving perceptions of people with disabilities. When the opportunity arose to uh, work with the uh, University of Pittsburgh and the VA Pittsburgh healthcare system, it was natural that we'd start HURL. The laboratory our mission is to improve the quality of life for people with disabilities through uh, advanced research or engineering, get people more integrated into the community and to make them more independent. We do this through some of our programs that we have here, whether it's educational or research or outreach. We started out as a wheelchair lab doing sort of manual wheelchair work and have expanded over the years to include brain-computer interfaces, robotics, virtual reality, cognitive aids, home modifications, and training. The system that you see behind me, that's called the Karen system, or the computer-assisted rehab environment. We work with people who have gotten prosthetic limbs, so in terms of how are they adapting to a newer technology. One of the latest technologies that's come out from the University of Pittsburgh is the brain-computer interface, a robotic arm directly getting signals from the brain. So we're trying to see if we can get that technology, use it to drive wheelchairs much more efficiently, not just control left or right. We have a machine shop where we can basically fabricate anything mechanically or electronically that we wish. What's kind of unique is not too many university programs allow you to do the design but also do the fabrication and take you through all of those steps. This is our robotics lab. Everything you see here has something to do with robotics. Uh, we developed this called the Strong Arm, which is a uh, robotic assisted transfer device. This uh, mounts to the wheelchair, folds up behind them. We've developed ones uh, mainly to replace uh, upper extremity function for people. And then we're working on ones that um, can actually lift the person. I think 10 years down the line will be something you would see used quite frequently and, and have tremendous impact on, uh, on people's lives. I was in the United States Marine Corps for 15 years. I was medically retired after being injured in Iraq. Many of our people in uh, Hurl are themselves uh, veterans, and, uh, and many of them were clinically right. in the VA. Press that bottom button until that says set. I ended up here through an internship program called Elevate, and this program was designed for people to transition from the military back into academics who have uh, any type of interest in assistive technology, engineering, and research. Since our inception, we wanted to include veterans with disabilities in HURL uh, as employees, as trainees, to reach out to them. The experience I had uh, transitioning uh, through the programs here and the work that we do here really put a passion and fire inside of me to give back to the community not only the veteran community, but others with disabilities like myself. Our research is continuously evolving as, as we can adopt uh, new technologies and, and information from other fields of science that have influenced us. The end goal for us is full autonomy and full participation in society as equal partners and respect for people with disabilities. So I think we have a, we have a, a lifetime's worth of work ahead of us. We taught from day one, we're, we're not doing anything for charity, we're helping people to be themselves so that they can do better. Uh, you're not taking care of people, you're helping people take care of themselves.